WMC Memphis, WMFS FM HD2 Bartlett Memphis. It's America's team. The Dallas Cowboys play here on ESPN 790 AM. Watch the sun rise, new days dawn, and it's calling you and me. We're the mighty Mississippi flows by Memphis, Tennessee. We've got woodlands, fields, and water. Hey, there is no better way. You can find Saturday morning and welcome to another edition of the award-winning Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, Best Care Home Services, and DeSoto Outdoors and Archery. Now, here's your host, Larry Ray. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome to the top of the hour here as we close out the final two segments on Outdoors with Larry Ray on this November the 19th, which is opening day of the gun season for deer, which I will be out of here right after the show, heading over to Whiteville to the McCrory Farm. That's what my plans are. And then uh, Frank Barton is our co-host on the third Saturday of each month. And Frank will be heading over to Arkansas for the opening day of the duck season. And uh, can't wait. He's trying to get me to speed it up and cut into the show. But uh, you're just listening, right? I'm, we're fine. 28 minutes. 28 <laughs> minutes. He's timing it. He's putting the time on it for me. Come on now. Don't, don't do that to me and everything. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we're going to talk clothing. You know how I am? As Frank mentioned, uh, I like to stay warm. Now, I'm middle-aged for a 146-year-old man. So I need to be warm, okay? And so I've, I've discovered, thanks to my good friend Stephanie Mallory, uh, that Field & Stream has come out with a line of clothing that, that's perfect for me. It's not heavyweight. It's not lightweight. It's just right to keep you warm. And so we wanted to talk a little bit about keeping warm and some of the new Field & Stream uh, clothing. And we've got with us on Outdoors of Larry Ray this morning, Chase McClain. He is Field and Streams True Pursuit Collection. He is also their brand. Uh, the official title for you is Brand Activation Manager. Is that right? Yeah, it's a fancy sounding <laughs> title, but it's uh, it's nothing more than helping to manage fun and and help to get more folks outdoors. And you are an outdoor person, Chase, right? Yes, sir. I grew up hunting and fishing in uh, South Central Pennsylvania, and it's uh, something I've grown to love and. Uh, you know, really look forward to passing on that tradition to my own kids. Man, you've even hunted hogs, I see. Okay. I have, uh, yes, sir. Okay, and done all of this and got his first bow as a birthday gift when you were seven years old. Is that right? I did. You know, it was uh, among the more memorable gifts I've ever received. My dad uh, had got a used youth bow, and I'm a left-hander, so he had uh, uh-huh. had switched over the cams and made it possible for me to shoot, and I just fell in love with it ever since. Wow. Well, tell our listeners a little bit about... Uh, in your capacity uh, as that big title you just said, brand activation manager, Field and Stream has really got into this uh, head first and um, some quality stuff. So tell our listeners a little bit about uh, the True Pursuit Collection. Sure. Yeah, at Field and Stream, we've uh, we've opened 27 locations around the country. Wow. Um, and what I do is I get to partner with different conservation groups and community organizations. Um, and really to help unlock their potential to get more kids outdoors and really to experience the things that we grew up with and that we've learned to, to come and, and, and to love. And, um, you know, I think a lot of that starts, too, with, with the gear that we put out there. Um, one of those collections, it's the uh, the Triumph Collection. Yes. It's one we're really proud of right now. You know, it's 
it's really a collection and a combination of all of our best fabrications, our technologies, and our features. And you know as well as I do, whenever you're comfortable in the field, whenever you're you're confident from that, you know, whenever you have uh, garments that have an ergonomic fit, they're articulated right, they're yeah. adjustable, you know, and you start to integrate some of those functional technologies, uh, it all breeds confidence. And when you're confident in the field, you know, you remove a lot of those variables and it allows you to stay out there in the elements longer and focus on executing a perfect shot, you know, and I think that's that's important and it's important for us to be able to provide that uh, type of product to the community. And, of course, you, you're being from Pennsylvania. You've you've dealt with all sorts of weather conditions, I'm assuming, in your career. We have, and sometimes it's all on the same day. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> it, it happens down here, too. And the Triumph soft shell, uh, I, you know, the pants and the top, it's got the Hydro Repel wind defense. It's got the No-Scent C3. Uh, so if, if I, and I'm looking at it right now, and I've got all my little things all around me here and everything, and comfort is part of it, too, isn't it, Chase? Yeah, it is. You know, I think it starts with the fabric, too. Yes. This uh, Triumph collection, it's, it's a true three-layer soft-shell fabric. Mm-hmm. That outside layer is a suede, densely knit surface that's treated with Hydro Repel, as you mentioned, uh, that's really water repellent. Then you move into that middle layer uh, that's just um, loaded with wind defense. It's a membrane that's fully windproof and also provides additional protection from water elements. And then what's really important is that inside layer really helps to, to protect and uh, hold thermal retention. It's a brush grid fleece treated with our proprietary scent control technology, and that's no scent C3, which conceals, it absorbs um, scent molecules. It's also going to contain the odors by inhibiting bacteria growth. And then it self-charges, which I think is important. It self-charges while air drying to (laughs) renew that odor controlling technology. That's amazing. So uh, how long do you plan ahead for something like this, Uh, say in the Triumph collection or or even the the other ones that you can. You guys don't just put these things out overnight. I know they've been out in the field and tested. Uh, is this a is this a process that's taken a couple of years or so? You know, I think that's a living and breathing organism. Uh, our product development team is second to none. Yeah, they put a heavy emphasis on field testing and making sure that we get it right. We are absolutely committed to making sure that those garments are functional, um, the right technologies are in place, and that the fit is articulated for, you know, specifically for the hunter. Um, and so, you know, it's it's constantly about receiving feedback, making tweaks here and there. And i, I got to tell you, I mean, I've used this collection. It sounds like you have too, and it's, I yeah. mean, it's the best that I've been in to date. Um, I had a doe downwind of me for five minutes uh, in South Dakota here a few weeks ago. And just no idea that I was there, and that's that's a really? comforting feeling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, particularly in the Dakotas out there. And then uh, the, the the smart heat insulated gloves. Now, I didn't get a pair of those, but I've I've heard some people say that those are uh, first class as far as keeping your hands warm. Yeah, it is. You know, that's one of those parts of your body that if if your hands are cold, if your feet yes. are cold, you're in big trouble. You yes. know, and what it has is it has a smart heat technology that reflects your body heat and really does a good job of keeping your hands warm when you're out there. I mean, this is not anything heating pads you're going to put in any of these clothes. You can if you wanted to and everything because they're engineered to, for comfort and long lasting. And also, uh, I guess you, in the layer process, I don't think I need to wear as much as. I look like the Pillsbury Doughboy sometimes when I go out there. <laughs> Frank, well, you yeah. saw that. I'm in my duck hunting or whatever it might be. But uh, you've tried to eliminate some of that feel, right? Yeah, you know, it's it's the type of garment from from head to toe that you can be you can be layered up and you can still be thin. You yes. know, so uh-huh. uh, for me, one of the concerns that I always have as a bow hunter is that I want to make sure that right in the inside of my right elbow, I'm left-handed. Uh-huh. I want to make sure I've got. You know, not so much fabric. Like I'm going to have string slap. Yeah. And this, you know, these pieces are just built so well to be functional. Um, and then, you know, you look at the at the bib. You've got a removable suspender there that you zips do. out whether you don't want it. But simply put, it's going to keep your pants up. It's one less thing to worry about, right? Yeah. And, uh, you know, you've got zippers in the back that are quiet. You can dump heat when you need to do that. Um, and so, yeah, this is it's built to be slim, but it keeps you warm. Um you know, it's a it's a great piece. And also, uh, I've had problems, and uh, Frank will, will admit this is a duck hunter. Uh, sometimes you have to, where you leave your truck and where you're going, maybe a little bit further than you like. And the, by the time you get there, you're... Worst thing you want to do is be sweating when you get to that's where what you I'm have talking to sit about. down. Isn't that right, Chase? 
That's right, absolutely. And I think that's why it's important to, to layer up, right? You know, when you start with a good base lower, layer and you get up there to your stand, and of course, you know, you're sweaty by the time you get to the base of the tree. You've got a, a climber stand. You're even sweatier once you get to the top of that tree. But, you know, if you can dump heat and you've got, um, you know, moisture wicking base layers yes. um, like we've got, I mean, it's, it's going to help a tremendous amount because if you're up there and you're wet, you're going to be cold, you're going to be shaking, your knees are going to be knocking, then you add to that the stress and the, the excitement around having a buck looking you right in the eyes, and uh, it makes for a pretty tough situation. But when you're comfortable, you're confident, and it helps you again to really focus on executing that shot. So how, how are my folks down here in uh, Memphis, Tennessee, going to be able to get these products? You know, they're available both at fieldandstreamshop.com and at dicksportinggoods.com. We've got uh, 16 locations in Tennessee and three in the greater Memphis market. So, uh, you know, I'd start there and definitely give it a look. They're, uh, you know, it's a great product. It's one that we're very proud of um, and, you know, proud to put our names on. Yeah, that's where I first saw them was in Dick's. And I said, my goodness, look at this right here. That's when I started contacting people and get Chase on. Chase, thank you, buddy, for being with us on this Saturday morning. Uh, we appreciate you taking time, and uh, again, we'll stay in touch. And again, folks, that's uh, uh, check it out. It's a Triumph collection. You can go to Dick's here in Memphis, or you can go to the website for Field and Stream. And yes, they're in the clothing business, and they're in it for the haul. So thank you. Okay, Chase, thank you, buddy. Yes, sir. Thanks have a, so much. Have a great nice. day. Uh huh. Bye bye. All right. Oh, I love to be warm. Uh, it's nothing more than being cold. You know. I mean, there's a. Can, can, I can remember what I when I first started hunting. It was uh, clothes have changed. Oh yeah, I, they, the, I don't know you can remember the technology. Technology is a lot better. I mean, I still got stuff that I, I do too. The, I still got the stuff that I hunted with from you know thirty and forty years ago and in, in the closets and you know it'll be, you know it'll be passed down when you've got you know good quality that that's the thing good that's quality good hunting, quality hunting, good quality hunting clothes you know you. It's you pass it down to your children. Well, I got to ask you before we get down today about. Uh, uh, I I think that my, it's time to get me some new uh, waders. Uh, I'm I'm getting leery of my waders. I've had them for several years now, and I I want to get your advice on waders because. Uh, Probably. Why if you're gonna be, you don't want to be cold, so you're gonna go with some type of neoprene, and you're gonna go with, you know, insulate, and you decide how much you want. Like 1200 seems to work fine for me. 1200. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna ask you some more about we close out today's show. All right, let's take a break. Come right back. Frank Barton in studio. Greg Rat have taken uh, care of all of us, pushing all the buttons. There's only three of them over there. Me, Frank, and him. So we'll be right back on ESPN 790. You can find. 